Welcome back, everybody. I am delighted for this segment. It's been a while since we've done a Just the Bruise segment, so I want to bring in Chris Casamasa. He's the author and owner of Business Combat. He played the role of the Super Ninja Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. He stunt doubled for George Clooney in Batman. Chris, you do it all. Welcome to the show. Oh, well, thank you. Happy to be here. We're glad to have you. Now, now tell me what um, Business Combat is. So Business Combat is the group that I formed to help martial arts business owners across the country so that they can basically have some success without selling out and so that they can live the lifestyle that they deserve because they are making such a big impact in their community. I want to ask you about martial arts because I, I have a lot of friends who are involved in martial arts. I love watching the UFC and there's something special about martial arts, I think, and the discipline that it instills in, in people and just some of the values that you learn from martial arts. Can you talk about that? Absolutely. Like I started martial arts when I was four years old. So I literally grew up in this. Uh, it's been part of my entire life. And it's one of the things that helped me achieve uh, a lot of the success in my career. If it wasn't for the discipline and focus and respect that I learned in the martial arts as a young kid, uh, I probably would not have achieved what I have done so far. And I'm going to continue to do more. I'm not, I'm not done by any means, but yeah, so it's it's um, I believe it's important. Listen, it's it's my personal opinion that if everyone on this planet studied martial arts for just one year, that our world would be a much better place. I agree. I think we'd all be a little bit more respectful of people as well. Uh, for those out there, maybe parents who who want to get their kids involved in martial arts, is there an age at which they should start, and is there an age at which you should stop? Well, to that last question, one of the great things about the martial arts, it is ageless. Like, and it's also an activity, one of the few sports and activities that the entire family can do together. Um, the youngest age that kids will typically start, it depends on the martial arts studio, so it's always good to ask that question, is four. There are some martial arts schools that take kids at age three, but it really all depends on the kid and their maturity level. Uh, but the younger they can get involved with it, the better, the more uh, skilled they're going to be able to develop and the better life lessons they're going to learn. And really, that's what we do is we work hand in hand with the parents to teach them the same thing that mom and dad are doing. But sometimes when mom and dad say it, it's like, meh. But when, they're, when their sensei says it, it has much more impact. So we're actually working with the parents to get those life skills that they want. I love that. And speaking of parents, as you mentioned, you started martial arts very young under the tutelage of your father. Talk to us about that. Yeah, my dad is the founder of our system and our style. Our studios are called Red Dragon Karate. So Business Combat is the group that we that I help other non-Red Dragon martial arts school owners do. But it was started in 1965. Uh, my father is really the founder of the American style of martial arts, which means mixed martial arts. Right nowadays, everybody's doing mixed martial arts, but back in the early 1960s, that was unheard of in the martial arts world. You were either one style or another, Japanese style, Chinese style, whatever it was, you didn't uh, mix the streams as it were, but my dad being the, the creative American that he is, uh, decided he was just gonna put those all the styles that he learned together and create one style. Okay, I have a technical question because I do watch the UFC and it's become, uh, I think, much more uh, widespread due to Joe Rogan and, and some of the personalities within UFC. But of course, as a result, I know a little bit about MMA. But with respect to what you mentioned, American style martial arts, what is, technically what does that mean? What does that look like? Well, think of it this way. It's like it's just like America. America is a melting pot of multiple cultures, right? It's not just we're not just all white or all brown or, or whatever. It's it's a mix, right? So when you take different styles of martial arts and blend them together, it creates a different culture and a different aspect of, and a different way of looking at the martial arts. Like every martial arts style has something great to offer, right? There's no in my opinion, there's no best style of martial arts, even though I'm going to be a little partial to Red Dragon, but there isn't a one best style. If there was, we would all be training in it. There's a style based on a person's personality and what their what their interests are and what they hope to get out of it. So simply mixed martial arts just means a, a crossing of different styles and cultures of martial arts tactics. Okay, for those in our audience who might want to dip their toes in the martial, martial arts pool, if they don't have a Red Dragon in their area, um, I know I know a few of the the forms, uh, Krav Maga and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I'm sure there are many others. Is there any style of martial arts that you would recommend for beginners to kind of maybe get their feet wet a little bit? 
No, but here's what I would say. And if you're a parent, you're listening, here's, here's the deal on that. Just go to a studio that's near you and ask to watch a class. Now, first thing, if they say you can't watch, head for Z Hills. That is not the studio for you. There is no secret, no mystery, no, no thing that you can't watch in a martial arts school, in a modern day martial arts school. So watch a class, look at the students on the floor because your child is gonna end up like those students. Look at the instructors, make sure that they have a good personality and they're able to communicate the benefits of martial arts with the students that are on the floor. And most martial arts schools today will offer at least one free trial class. Some even offer up to a week of training for free. So take advantage of that and have your child try it out. Uh, on the second part of that, if you have a daughter and you are hearing my voice, it is in your best interest to get your daughter enrolled in martial arts. You know, they, they, I, I, besides business combat, I wrote a book on bully, two number one bestsellers. Uh, and according to the FBI, the stats are that one in three females in their life, one out of every three, will be attacked or sexually assaulted. Now for guys, it's one out of 100. But for girls, it's one out of three. So if you have a like I have a daughter, she's 21 now, but she started training when she was three years old. Like I, I knew that at some point in her life, some guy was going to try and do something that she didn't want to have happen. And I, it was my primary responsibility to make sure that she was prepared. And I, listen, I hope that never happens to her. But if it does, she's going to know exactly what to do and how to handle it. So get them in martial arts, because one of the things that the FBI does is they interview the attackers and they ask them, why? Why did you attack this person? Why did you do this? One of the consistent answers that they get, the person was unaware, they weren't paying attention, mm. they lacked confidence, they weren't making eye contact, all things that the martial arts teaches you. So I'm gonna, that's the end of my soapbox there, but if you have a daughter, get them enrolled, get her enrolled in martial arts immediately. Absolutely, Chris, I'm gonna have to get you to train me a little and I'm gonna have to pick up your book. Um, <laughs> okay, so I am so glad that we had those conversations because I love the martial arts, uh, martial, martial arts aspect of what you've done. But we've got about 45 seconds left. Brief description of your very storied career in Hollywood. <laughs> well, listen, I, I started obviously in the martial arts, made to black belt, went on the professional tour for competition where I became a four-time number one national champion. And I kind of got scouted uh, at a tournament that I won, there were some producers from a TV show that came up to us and said, hey, we're, we're making this TV show, we want you to be in it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, that would be cool. And so I kind of got bit by the bug there. And from there, once you're in the, mar in the movie industry, there's that old saying, it's not who you know, it's who knows you. Right, so once yeah. I got into one, it was able to help move me into other ones where I got the opportunity to play Scorpion and Mortal Kombat, Batman and Batman and Robin. So yeah. Fantastic. Chris Casamasa, we will have to have you back on. The next time you're on, I'm going to be more coordinated and have more muscle. We'll be right back.